Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to this next episode of Depression Help. I hope that you're all at least okay, if not good or better. Um, <clears throat> apologies as always about sounding rough, it's actually lunchtime now, but um, yeah, still kind of feeling a bit rough and sounding a bit rough, but that's okay. Um, so I thought it'd be good to talk about um, a kind of strategy that I came up with that I found kind of helpful in understanding reactions to things. Um, it's I think it's always better to respond rather than react, but that is another topic for another video that I've actually written down on my list of topics to talk about. Um, getting closer to my 500 subscribers, which is great because that means I'll be able to put up a poll um, to ask for ideas of what people think it would be helpful to talk about. And if that's something that I have some personal experience of, then I'll be happy to share some thoughts. Um, so <clears throat> DEF CON, um, it stands for Defense Readiness Condition. It's a military terminology and basically five is the lowest level and one is the highest. So um, basically like countries and military and whatever else are military personnel um, operate at different levels of readiness um I'm, I'm not an expert on the military just just to get that out there so um i, I grew up in the navy but uh, that that was nothing that would um educate me on military strategy uh, it's just something that I, I kind of picked up and thought was a good technique so um yeah so basically like <clears throat> um defcon one is the highest level of readiness i think that's like nuclear attack or something um and you will have seen it in movies, which is probably where I saw it. Um, you know, we're at DEF CON, whatever. So I think that when you're low, um, and possibly when you're anxious as well, I'm going to do a series on anxiety as well, but I'd like to get a better handle on that myself before I try and help other people with it. So um, DEF CON 1, I think you're much more likely to go there if, you're low or you're anxious. So I think that what can happen is, and hopefully you understand what I mean by going to DEF CON 1, what I mean is like having an intense emotional reaction and um, feeling as though something is a massive deal and maybe it isn't. So I think that you're much more likely to go to higher DEF CON level um, than is necessary um, when you feel low or when you feel anxious. And I think it's good to be mindful about that because if you can kind of check yourself and realize that I've just had a massive emotional reaction to that and is that really, you know, is that really in perspective or is it because of the way I'm feeling? So I think that can play into a lot of things. Um, most importantly, your own health, your own stress levels, your own well-being, you know, if, if you're if you're constantly kind of going into fight or flight or fight, freeze and flight, um, because of little things, that's not obviously going to be particularly good for your body. Um, it's definitely not going to be good for your for your sense of peace. And, um, you know, unfortunately, raising your cortisol levels, the impact of that, this is well known, this is not me getting into medicine, um, you know, is likely, having higher cortisol levels is likely to make you more depressed. So... Um, so, 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 you know, being stressed out and having big emotional reaction to things is going to make your depression worse. So, um, so I think it's, it's a handy kind of, um, technique that I've used and, and I do use, um, and that's just to kind of check yourself, check in with yourself and say, okay, so this has happened. And sometimes it can help to either like bounce off other people, reflect on something with other people, maybe ask them how they would respond to that or how big a deal that would be to them. It depends on the person because some people, you know, overreact to everything, it seems. Um, and we can all overreact in, in, in the right circumstances. So, um, but yeah, or even like, again, this is where I think journaling can be good. Um, write down, you know, this is what happened. This is how I feel about it. Even just the act of that, it's it's almost like you're confiding it in somebody you're not. You're just putting pen to paper or notes in your phone or whatever, but you're you're getting it out of your head 
Um, and the simple act of doing that, I think, can make you, can make you feel better. Um, I think it can also make you um, help you to gain perspective. Um, another way of doing it is actually to, I haven't done this, but it is another way you could do it. And that would be to um, make make like a voice note. So use your phone to record yourself talking about the thing that's happened and how you feel about it. Um, again, that's another way of getting it off your chest without necessarily having somebody there to talk to. Um, and it's another way that you could then kind of listen back and you you probably find, it depends what it is, but you, you probably find that when you listen to it back, you'll have some perspective and you'll think, mm, okay, maybe that's not quite a, as big a deal as as my feelings were, were making it out to be or as my brain was making it out to be or as my depression was making it out to be. So that's different from from PTSD. So if you've if you've had some sort of really bad trauma or repeated trauma, then you can you can have like an association with something or someone or whatever and basically it'll take very little to to trigger like a defcon one response and that's a bit more difficult to try and get over i don't really know how to get over that yet but hopefully i will um so in that case i would just i think the best thing to do is just avoid the person or situation or whatever it is that is triggering that response in you until you're in such a place that you you know you can um you can deal with it um without without it you know triggering such a huge response in you without without it making you you know putting you in a, in a bad place emotionally or whatever so but the, the kind of things i'm thinking about are actually just regular day-to-day -day things you know um i think a lot of times people blow really simple things out of proportion and make themselves feel rubbish and a lot of the time it's things that aren't really that important I mean things break things go wrong people make mistakes sometimes you'll get a flat tire there's never a good time to get a flat tire you know all, all the little things that can happen um you know, if you have if you have a DEFCON one response to everything or one or two or three or whatever, then you're gonna spend a lot of time feeling miserable and you're gonna feel a lot of time spend a lot of time feeling stressed. Um I think it's good again, I'll talk about values in another video and I need to remember and write that down. Um and everyone has their own values. I think the important thing is to know what your values are and decide whether you're happy with what they are. Um because if you if you decide what's really important to you and what you value, then I think that little things won't bother you so much because in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that important. Um, you know, some people seem to get triggered by just about anything. Um, you'll always <laughs> you'll always see them on uh, group group pages. Uh, it seems like there's always uh, keyboard warriors sitting waiting for somebody to say something that they can they can jump on um and I've, thankfully I've not had any experiences of that recently but definitely been there um and and I, and I think that you know you know we're not here to hate on anyone we're, we're here to try and understand people rather than judge them I think they're probably just insecure people or hurt people and um so yeah just I, I, th I think that I think that it's just good to try and keep keep our minds on what's really important. You know, when when somebody dies, for example, you you'll see people getting um, real perspective really quickly, and I've been around that a lot in um, in in my work um, in the past, and. You know, you'll see that, you know, differences that people have had and things like that suddenly fade away. And sometimes they don't, and that's more difficult. But, um, you know, when something, when somebody dies or when somebody gets ill or when a relationship breaks up, or something big happens, suddenly people have perspective that they didn't have before. And I think it's good to try and have that perspective without having to have a tragedy. Um, 
And I think the way that, you know, or part of the way of doing that is, is being mindful of your, your reactions to things and whether they're balanced, whether they're, you know, adequate, appropriate, whatever the, the best word is. Um, you know, my, um, I was away to make a coffee and my, and my kettle just broke, you know, for me, that would be, it wouldn't even be a DEF CON at all. It would just be, well, the kettle's going to break sometime. It's pretty much always going to be when you're about to make a cup of coffee. So go and buy another one. Don't let it spoil your day. Um, but I think, you know, in some states of mind or for some people, and for me, when I was younger or when I was, you know, when I was in a worse place or whatever, that would probably have been like a DEF CON 3 or something, you know, because I was so busy and so stressed and um, that would be just another thing that's happened, you know, and um, th that's kind of a topic for another video as well, but try not to join things together, things that happen to you. Sometimes it's appropriate to do that. Um, you know, if you've been... I don't really like using the word victim, but if you've been the word, if you've been the victim of, you know, so many things for so many places, then I can get his kind of, from so many things from the same per person or place or whatever, then I think it kind of is appropriate to join it together. But what I mean is that, you know, like don't join isolated incidents together. So your kettle breaks, then you get a flat tire and then your friend cancels on you or something like that. You could join all those things together in your head and make, your fa make yourself feel really crappy unnecessarily. Um, or you could say, well, you know, the kettle's got a lifespan. It's gonna break, it broke. I'll get another one. They're what, a tenner? Not really the end of the world. Again, never a good time to get a flat tire. Um, well, I'm glad it didn't happen when I wasn't in the middle of nowhere and it happened when I was in town. Um, or if it did happen, happen in the middle of nowhere, I'm glad I had a spare tire. Um, make sure you've got a spare tire. Um, your friend cancelled. Um, I think that when you feel insecure, that's a bit more difficult because you, you kind of take things a lot more personally. Insecurity is, is definitely a topic for a video. I've already written that one down. Um, it is a bit more difficult, but I think that... I mean, I, I really take most things in, in my stride. Um, and, you know, if, if somebody, if somebody cancels something, then, um, I would just, just, you know, that, that happens. Sometimes people need to cancel. I make a habit of never canceling on anyone unless it's, I actually really can't be there. Um, so even if I don't really feel like doing something, I'll still do it. Um, you know, so if I don't turn up to something, it's, I'm probably in hospital because I've been hit by a bus or. I can't stop being sick or something, so I really can't go. And th those are my standards, you know, that, that's the kind of commitment I give to people. Um, and if that's the kind of commitment you give to people as well, then it might feel a bit offensive to you if you don't get that from other people. But I think it's a mistake to expect other people to always do what you would do. All you can do is focus on trying to treat other people the way you'd like them to treat them but don't expect them to do that because sometimes you'll be, you'll be disappointed. Um, I hope this isn't another rambly one. I feel like maybe it slightly is. Um, but when, when you have a, when, you know, when something happens, one way of trying to keep things in perspective is measuring your response. So you could be like DEF CON 1, th toys well out the pram, or if you want to look at it comically, or really upset or really angry or really irritable or whatever, is that an appropriate response to the situation? And writing it down, telling your phone in a voice note, listen to it back, things like that, those, those things can all help. Or if you've got the right kind of people in your life that you could, you could ask, then, um, then, then maybe it's worth asking, you know, how they would deal with that. And if you think that that's an appropriate reaction, Whatever it takes, basically, to try and get some perspective um, and don't join things that happen together unless there's a really good reason for doing so. Um, and, you know, so don't join isolated incidents together. Um, you know, people talking about things coming in threes and blah, blah, blah. And just don't go there. Take things as they are. OK, that happened. That's the way I'm going to deal with that. 
that happened, that's the way I'm going to deal with that. Um, that happened, there's nothing I can do about that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and, you know, don't worry about what hasn't happened, um, which again is a topic for another video that I've written down. So I hope that that's helpful uh, to someone just thinking about how we respond to things that happen, whether the, resp the response is appropriate and just some ideas about maybe having having um, an awareness of, of that and maybe just trying to calm down our, our reactions to things. And, and again, it's always better to respond than to react and lowering your DEF CON level will help to do that. So I hope you all have a good weekend. I'm off for a very rare time on a Saturday, um, probably the last one of the year. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have um, have a Saturday off. That's a rare thing. Although I'm still gonna go to my car unit and do a little bit of stuff on my own car. Um, but that's not work when it's on your own car. And um, looking forward to having one of my friends from, from Paisley uh, come in to visit today and uh, see what he thinks of for, for nightlife. So. Have a good weekend, look after yourselves, and um, if you are struggling just now, talk to somebody, talk to a mental health professional, talk to your GP, call NHS 24, call the Samaritans, tell somebody, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, yeah, we've all been there, and um, been there many times, um, could have given up, glad I didn't, really glad I didn't, and you could not have convinced me then that there was anything good around the corner, you could not have convinced me that there was a future worth living, um but i would have been wrong so hang in there and uh yeah i'll, I'll see you in the next one